Okay, Shalom, Shalom. Kwame Yashala. Kohaloyimla. Yahweh Basim Yahweh Shai, Bahashem. Rakah HaKadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders. A great millstone who rule well. That by the Spirit taught us his beautiful truth. I just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwaf. That's out here sincerely keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Basim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. Shah Hanan Nawaf. Just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson. Pray that it's edifying. And um, yeah, I'm just sitting here in the Walmart park, parking lot. Well, I'm at the plantation, but I wasn't doing anything. So kind of rolled up on here to grab a couple things for the weekend. But, you know, I mean, what I notice is, of course, it's Jake. You know, Jake in there with two buggies full of shit for Thanksgiving. Thanks stealing, man. You know what I'm saying? We call it or thanks killing, whichever one sounds best to you. <laughs> but Jake in there, man, cranberry sauce, turkey ham, you name it, man. Biscuits, you know, gravy, Jake, pies. Jake just in there just going crazy, man, to celebrate these wick, this wicked-ass holiday. And the next one coming up as well, you know, the year Christmas. So let's just grab some scripture, man. And, you know, we're just going back to the basics because, you know, there's a lot of newcomers that's coming into this truth and they may not know these particular scriptures on um, idolatry because Thanksgiving is idolatry. Um, I mean, you're celebrating murder, man. Christmas is idolatry. You see, no such thing as white Jesus. White Jesus is for sure the biggest idolatrous holiday ever, man. That's one of the main, main idols of our people. But let's get this. Um, Jeremiah 10, I'm going to start from the top, verse 1. And in the NLT, they have it titled, Idolatry Brings Destruction. And it does. That's the reason why you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are at the bottom of everything and every nation um, on, on, the, on the planet, man. To this very day, because we broke the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's the true name of the Father and Son. Um, the true name of the Father is Yahweh, which means that He exists or He is to be the existing one. And the true name of His Son is Yahweh Shai, which means that He's the Savior or Deliverer in Paleo Hebrew. And we made a contract with the Lord Yahweh when we came out of Egypt with Moses. If you read through that, you know that that particular um, passages. Where it talks about uh, Moses sprinkled the blood on the book. He sprinkled the blood on us, the people. And we made a blood um, covenant or blood contract with the Lord saying that we would do what he said to do. And with that came long life and that we would stay in the land, you know, of Israel and prosper. But he told us also, hey, don't do what these other nations are doing, because that's the reason why. Um. We're basically in the trouble that we're in, you know, as a nation of people, because we started following the, the idols and uh, worshiping these other gods, man. And, and it may, you know, Yahweh is a jealous power, man. He's a jealous God. He's doing everything for us. And we're giving all the recognition to some 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 damn a white man on a cross that can't even get off of it. You know, some some wood, some 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 shit somebody made up. You get we given, you know, <laughs> given. You know, all the honor, glory and, and, and praise, so to speak, to the to the um, the creature instead of the creator, man. But let's get this, though. And again, like I said, these are the basics, man. Um, things that we have to know when we come into this truth. You have to put away all the bullshit that you've ever learned when you come into this truth, man. When especially when it comes to the Americas. This place is wicked as hell, man. OK, it says um, Jeremiah 10 and 1 here. Hear ye the word. Which Yahweh speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. See, he's talking to the children of Israel. And he's about to tell you not to do, basically, what these other nations are doing. Thus saith Yahweh, learn not the way of the heathen. Why isn't he telling that to the heathen as well? Because he only chose the Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. He only gave the law, statutes, and commandments to our people. He didn't make a covenant with the heathen. So the heathen can do what they want. But when it comes to us... We belong to him. He gave us rules, regulations, man. Law, statutes, commandments, precepts, man, to follow. And if we get outside of those things, you're going to get your ass spanked, man. And that's what doesn't happen to us as a nation. It says, Thus saith Yahweh, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. For the customs of the people are vain. See, these are vain customs. It's vain. As much as food is costing right now with inflation, Jake's still out here finding a way to celebrate a murderous holiday. 
show you how wicked our people are, man. And, and a lot of Jake, no. But they'll still, you, well, we still have a reason to be thankful. What the fuck? Are you? you can be thankful every day. You're supposed to be thankful to the Lord every day. That should be a sacrifice of praise coming out of your mouth on a day-to-day -day basis. The water, Yahweh. The water meaning thank, thank you. In the Paleo Hebrew, the water Yahweh about Shimei was shy for feeding me, clothing me, housing me, keeping me from disease, plagues, you know, keeping me from getting bad news of my family members being um, um, destroyed, so to speak. You know, you're supposed to be thankful every day. It says, Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. For the customs of the people are vain. For one cutteth the tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the worksmen with the axe. Now that's going into Christmas. It's going into Christmas. I was riding by um somewhere yesterday and I see, you know, Christmas trees out there for 80 bucks. I'm not buying no goddamn Christmas tree to put in my house for just a few weeks to toss on the curb. You know, you're cutting down all the damn fir trees, man. The fir trees, they make, they, they make a difference, man. Those trees don't shed in the wintertime like other trees do as far as fall those trees give shelter to the animals and and birds and, and squirrels whatever you know what i'm saying but they're not meant to be cut down to put and, it, and it's a whole another lesson on that that goes off into nimrod and you know just it's just idolatrous man but this is going off into the christmas tree and they deck it with silver and with gold they fasten it with nails and with the hammer that it moved not see so that's going off into your, your, the Lord is telling you this is a commandment. The customs of the people are vain. What does vain mean? Let's, let's get it in the NLT over here. Let me start from the top. Hear the word that the Lord speaks to you, O Israel. This is what the Lord says. Do not act like the other nations who try to read their future in the stars. And you know, these people, man, they all in all kinds of witchcraft, sorcery and shit. Do not be afraid of their predictions, even though other nations are terrified by them. We're not supposed to be breaking down and, and, and believing in all they voodoo and all that, all they, all they weirdo shit. We believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and his word. His word shall not return to him void. What he says goes, man. And it's that simple. Their ways are futile and foolish. They cut down a tree and a craftsman carves an idol. See? And that, you know. They, they, they're basically going off into it from another angle, but still, that's that's what's going on. That tree is an idol. That's why you have so many house fires um, during Christmas time and all these other different um, holidays and shit. Faulty wiring. The Lord burn your damn house down with your kids up in it, with along with their their um, Barbie set and and, and 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 bikes and shit, toys that you done bought them for this idolatrous ass holiday, and then they want to have a GoFundMe page and, and, and get to talking about, uh, you know, they were the love of my life and all that. Nah, man, we applaud that. It says they decorate it with, with gold and silver and they fasten it securely with hammers and nails so it won't fall over. And that's pretty much like, you know, how they today they have what they, um, you know, would be a. It's kind of like a base, you know, you stuff it off in there and you kind of and it keeps it standing basically like a tripod, so to speak. But the customs of the people are vain, man. See what I'm saying? As a matter of fact, let's go to uh, let's go to Micah, two and ten. Because I'm telling you, I was in there. I'm just looking like, damn, Jake in there with two buggies full to the top. Shit all under all under the bottom. You know where you put the, you know um, where they got that level on the bottom. They got shit all under there, man. Micah two and ten. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. America is not our rest. Our people are sorely destroyed. And, and, and it's going to be so much. Man, look, the Lord is about to judge this place real seriously, man. It's high time to awake out of sleep and repent. Get away from these so-called white people. Let them celebrate their wicked ass holidays. Let them, let them do what they do. This, this is not for us. This could get you killed, man. Celebrating these, these wicked-ass, idolatrous holidays can get you killed. Straight up. We are giving warning, man. We are, we are blowing a trumpet. And the Lord said, whether they hear it for bear, go and do it. So, hey. We have to get out here and do this, man. 
And we know Jake's stiff neck and, and hard headed as hell, but we still going to do it because there's some elect among some of the hard heads, so to speak, man. Somebody's going to get it. We already know that two thirds of Israel is not going to pick up on it. They're not going to get it. They're just going to just shun Yahweh, man. They're them the ones that turn away the shoulder and, and push away the hand, you know. The Lord is extending a hand, you know. I was just riding through a park a few hours back. And we have like a huge geese problem. Well, not a geese problem. I mean, it's just so many of them. You know, they're just being born and born and born. And by law, you can't do nothing to them. But they just got the park covered, man. They're everywhere. And they walk across the street and they walk so slow. But you have to stop and wait on a whole flock of them to cross the street, man. They can hold up traffic <laughs> forever, man. But what I noticed was today, you know, you can honk your horn. You can lean on your horn. You can, you know, you can, you can do what you want, man. They are not going to move no faster. They're not going to look. They have no alert awareness at all, man. At all. You know? There, there are people that'll get pissed off and just run them over, you know, because they, they, they're impatient. But the point that I want to make is it kind of reminds me of the children of Israel, man. They stiff neck. They won't listen. The danger is around them, but they won't look, won't turn their heads. They just straight ahead looking doofy as hell. Like all these scriptures coming out, all this, all this truth is coming out in these last days about the Hebrew Israelites. And Jake is just still not considering, man. They don't care. They don't care. Matter of fact, let me, um, let's get uh, the book of Isaiah. It just reminded me, like, that's how stiff necked our people are. Note, if you live anywhere where some geese are at, I think that's what they're called. But, man, look, when I tell you no alertness at all, they just, I'm talking about as if they just don't have a brain at all, man. You know? I've seen squirrels, at least a squirrel, squirrel will see and dodge and dip, you know, if they hear some noise, they don't, these geese don't care, and they kind of remind me of the children of Israel, man. Isaiah 1 and 3, the ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib, but Israel do have not know, my people do have not consider, see? Our people don't consider what's going on. They don't consider that we're living in the last days. They just think that this shit is going to carry on like I've been carrying on. They're going to be able to roll up smoke eat a fat ass thanksgiving dinner you know lay down take a couple of dumps come out feeling about 10 pounds lighter do it all over again you know family all in town think i'm thankful for this and i'm thankful for that but you hate your brother and within your heart man you know but anyway let's get the um let's get the nlt over here even in knox knows its owner and a donkey recognizes his master's care. But Israel doesn't know its master. My people don't recognize my care for them. And they don't. They don't, man. They call on white Jesus. They're going to sit down to the table, all bow their heads, holding hands, praying in the name of sweet white baby Jesus, talking about how thankful they are, man. Giving all the praise to a, a false God. When the Lord, he's the one that woke you up. Yahweh woke you up this morning. He's the one that put that food in the refrigerator. He's the one that has a roof over your head, man. He's the one that clothes you. He's the one that keeps your family safe, man. He's the one, you know, that, that, that leads and guides you throughout the day, man, to keep you from, you know, being hurt or getting into an accident or whatever, man. But who do our people give the praise to? A false idol, man, called Jesus. So, you know, I just wanted to just touch on this, man, real quick. I didn't want to keep the lesson long. Like I said, I'm, I'm still sitting here. I was just like, you know, I was about to pull away. But it just, Jake just, come on, man. Jake, I'm telling you, they in there. And it, and and, I'm, and this is all out the Americas. Jake is spending possibly billions of dollars. We know in the millions. And I'm, I would think billions. Out here spending billions of dollars to celebrate this one day. Giving thanks to a false idol, man. And the Lord is going to start destroying, man. He's already doing. He's already judging people. Watch how many people um, in the news. Watch and, and see how many people be in the news that some passed away or, or caught that business on Thanksgiving. And it's going to be brutal deaths, too. Gunshots, stabbings, you know. I'm telling you, man. It's about to get Jake. Jake about to. 
Hey, look, repent, man. <laughs> That's all I can say. Repent to the Father Yahweh in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, man. So with that, Kwame Yashalom.